Hey guys, so I hope you're all doing well. So I just wanted to pull out this palette because I think it has the perfect colors for fall. Anytime I think of fall time eyeshadows, I think of this kind of color combination. This one is from CoverGirl and it's in the color Coffee Shop. I just automatically think of colors like this, bronzes and golden tones with some dark brown shades in there. Alright, before I do anything, I'm just going to prime my eyes. I have a problem lately with forgetting to prime my eyes, so I'm going to do this step first just to make sure that I don't forget to do it later. Alright, next I'm going to put this all over my face. This is a face illuminator, but I do like to use it as a primer just because it is really glowy and fresh and it gives me a golden tone to my face. So I really like to use this when I'm transitioning into fall just to kind of maintain that healthy glow that I had during the summer and, you know, just keep my face from looking really, really pale. I feel like my face gets super pale really quickly during the fall time. Alright, so I just applied a little bit onto this brush and I'm just going to apply this all over. And like I said, I just really love this because it does give my face that golden glow and it makes it look really, really healthy. Alright, after that I'm going to go into the Stila All Over Liquid Shimmer. And I'm going to apply this to the high points of my cheek. As you can see, it's a really pretty rose gold shade. I just want to make sure that my face is really illuminated and glowy. A good tip for my oily skin girls who want that glowy look but don't want to look straight up oily is to apply a matte foundation on top of your illuminating products. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is actually a BB cream but it gives me pretty much full coverage, medium to full coverage. This allows me to have that glowy look without feeling like my oil is just going to completely shine through. I'm using my Beach Cosmetics 113 brush just to really buff this into my skin and I am going to be doing a review of these brushes. I've been testing them out lately. I like that this BB cream gives me really full coverage but it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin. It actually feels quite lightweight and I forget that I'm wearing it but it's perfect if I do want a really dark lip so I can get rid of any perfections on my skin. So I am giving myself pretty full coverage today just to make sure that my imperfections are completely covered on my face. After that I'm going to take a concealer. Like I said I do want quite full flawless coverage so I'm going to be applying this underneath my eyes and then I'm also going to highlight my face just like in the center of my face. underneath where I would apply my contour just to really define that, especially since I'm going to be adding the dark lip. I just want to make this look look quite dramatic. I do want to make sure that I do have a quite sharp defined contour, so I really have been liking this lately. Obviously you don't have to do all these steps. I am going to powder my face just because I do have oily skin and I want to make sure that my makeup lasts, but you can definitely skip this step if you have drier skin. But I'm going to make sure that I just powder everything down and to do this I'm using my BH Brush 116. And I'm going to add this as well. I'm going to use this as my highlight. This is of course an eyeshadow but I just love this shade as a highlight as well. It's very similar to NARS Albatross or the e.l.f. Got a Glow powder so I'm just going to be applying this. It's a very pretty golden white highlight. I'm just applying this to the tops of my cheekbones where I applied that liquid illuminizer earlier just to make sure that I have a very natural glow to my skin going on and that the highlighted points on my face are very controlled. I don't want to just apply it all over since I do have oily skin and I just want to make sure that I don't too, go too crazy. I am going to be applying just the tiniest bit to the tip of my nose just to really make my nose pop. I'm going to blend it out with my finger just to make sure that there's not too much on there and then whatever is left I'm going to be applying it to the top of my lip. Alright, really quickly I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows and then I'll finish my cheeks off and then we'll move on to the eyes. 
Maybe I'll put on my lipstick first. No, I think I'm going to do the eyes first and then I'll do the lipstick. After that, I'm going to use my blush and I'm just going for one that's very, very natural looking and it's not going to add too much color to my face. Again, I don't want there to be too much going on and for there to be like really bold cheeks and lips and eyes. So I'm going to go for this neutral peach tone blush just to keep it really simple. Like I said, I do want a little bit of a contour just to define my cheekbones and I just feel like with dramatic makeup looks, it's sometimes better to contour out your cheeks. So I'm going to be applying my Hoola Benefit Bronzer. I'm also going to be applying a little bit underneath my lip just to really define that and make it pop. And the little tiniest bit on the sides of my temples. And of course, down the sides of my nose. Alright, using my BH Cosmetics 119 brush, I'm going to take this gold shade, which I think is absolutely stunning, and I'm just going to be applying this all over my eyelid. And then going in with the same brush, I'm just going to take that copper shade, and I'm just going to make sure to focus this in the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm also going to place it in the inner corner of my eye as well. I'm going to blend out the copper with this 118 brush and just make sure to diffuse the color a little bit. And then, still using that 118 brush, I'm going to go in with that dark brown shade. I'm going to tap off the excess because I don't want a lot. And I'm just going to be applying this just to deepen up my crease in the outer corner. In the outer corner. But me out. My outer corner. Why do I keep on saying me outer corner? Okay. <laughs> Just because I want to make sure that there's a smooth connection between my crease, I'm going to take this same 118 brush, it's okay if it's a little dirty, <laughs> and I'm going to tap it in that gold shade, and I'm just going to make sure to blend together. And then lastly, I'm going to go back into that darkest shade, and I'm just going to apply this underneath my lower lash line, mainly on the outer corner. it's time to apply mascara and I'm going to apply this to my lower and upper lashes. All there's left to do is apply a lipstick and of course you can go for a neutral brown or even a nude shade. You can go for anything with this look really. Today I'm going to go for this Wet n Wild lipstick which is a matte shade in Wine Room. I really like this because it's in between kind of like a red and a berry. Alright, so here is the finished look. 
I really love how the highlight looks with this look. It just is so glowy and gorgeous and I feel like it really ties the look together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a comment down below of future videos that you want to see. As always, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!